Good afternoon, Connor Cougars. I'm Cora Burchett. And I'm Candace, and this is your afternoon announcements. Students, you need to check your school emails daily for important information. This week's Spirit Day theme is tropical. In honor of Jimmy Buffett, no swimsuits. Students who show their school spirit on Friday will receive candy and more at lunch from our amazing PTSO. GSA will be meeting in room 222 from 2.30 to 3.30. Please see Ms. Ginger with any questions. Earth Club will meet after school today in room 221. Let's go on a sports break with Drake. Girls basketball win a total of four losses and two wins over break, and the boys lost a total of four games to two wins. Girls lost the two games before break and lost the first four over break and won the last two. On Friday, December 15th, both the Lady Cougars and Male Cougars took on the Cooper Jaguars at Cooper. The ladies lost that game by a score of 28-58. to Anna Hamilton led with nine points and Ava Brown in rebounds with seven. The boys lost in the last seconds by one point. Final score 51-50, Cooper. Chase Huff and Finn Loudon led the team with 13 points apiece. Brady Bushman led the team in rebounds with five. The girls hosted South Oldham Saturday, December 16th and lost that game by 10. Final score 53-63. Ava Brown led that game for the Lady Cougars in scoring with 14 points. Aubrey Deppenbrock led the rebounds that game with 7. Now let's get into the break games. Starting with the girls, on December 20th and 23rd, the girls traveled to Lexington Catholic to play in the White, Greer, and Maggard Holiday Classic. They first took on Frederick Douglass and lost that game 35-75. to Then they had a two-day break and a doubleheader on December 23rd. Their first game that day was against Henry Clay, and they lost that game by 3 with the final score being 42-45. Southwestern was their second game, and they lost 50-59. They then traveled to Anderson County to play in the Century Bank Holiday Classic. They first took on West Jasmine and lost 47-60. They took on Owen County and had a big win, final score 43-13. Then took on Oldham County and won big again, 61-35. That wrapped up their break. Let's move on to the boys' break. They first played in the Scott Winter Classic and took on Aiken to begin their break. They lost by 13. Final score 53-66. They then took on Time and Kenton and won by 30 points, 56-26. Their final game of this tournament, they played Oldham County and lost, 56-80, final score. They then took on Thomas Worthington and lost by three, 58-61. Then they took on Linda McKinley and won, 61-58. They lastly took on Elder here at home and lost by 11, 50-61. Their first day back, they took on Holy Cross and lost by three, 55-58. Hope you all had a good break. On Friday, January 5th, the Lady Cougars took on Campbell County and showed an impressive performance taking down the Lady Camels. Final score, 70-48. Anna Hamilton put up 24 points and Aubrey Deppenbrock put up 19. Deppenbrock also led the rebounds with 6. The Lady Cougars played in the Simpsons Tree Service and HW Sports Classic over the weekend at Franklin County. They took on Green County and won by 20. Final score, 56-36. Anna Hamilton led with 17 points. Reese Everett led with 8 rebounds. The male Cougars took on Campbell County on January 6th and lost 53-75. to Three players combined for 30 points, each player having 10 points. Brady Bushman, Finn Loudon, and Chase Hub for the three. And Lana Warner led the team with six rebounds. This is all from Sports Break. FBLA will be holding a spirit shop tonight at the basketball game. They will be here at 6 and leave at halftime of the varsity game. Cash and check only. Hoodies are $40, t-shirts are 20, and these baseball caps are 35. Attention student drivers, when driving in the parking lot, make sure you come to a complete stop at all stop signs. This includes the stop sign at the crosswalk. That's all Connor Cougars. Have a cougarific day.